Put on, everyone say, bye, JR. Bye, JR. Yeah, we would both like to be the first to welcome you aboard the Frisco Silver Dollar Line. And I want to remind you to keep your arms, your legs, your hands, your feet, your heads, your tails inside the car at all times and remain seated until we get all the way back here to the depot. Take a quick look off there to the left, you're going to see Half Dollar Holland. We have an old-fashioned carousel in there along with the climbing maze. And right next to those bears in the Holland, you can make yourself a little animal, take him home. Don't forget to put some clothes on that bear, otherwise you'll have a bear bear. That would be unbearable. Now I'm going to talk fast so you all need to listen fast. If you come back on a real hot day, you're going to want to go to this ride that's right down the hill that you can't see now because we've already passed it. Tom and Hope's River Blast. Gallons and gallons of good things up down there. If you don't get wet on that ride, you come see me and I'll just jump up with the door on you. Coming up on the left hand side, we have our Silver Dollar Saloon. Big green building with the word saloon written on the side. Now it's kind of tricky because right now our saloon show is in one of the outdoor theaters. So don't go there to see the saloon show. Find us in the outdoor theater. Just past the saloon show though, we've got fire in the hole. Everybody say fire in the hole! Yeah, then all robbers came to town. They tried to burn the whole place down. So the fire chief needs all the help he can get to put out there on agent blazing. Say it again, fire in the hole! Oh yeah. All right, if you look off there to the right, you're going to see Silver Dollar City's newest attraction called Mystic River Falls. It's a family adventure ride. I think you can get eight people in those big old dudes, and it is an adventure. Let me tell you right now. We've got the tallest drop of any grass ride in the western hemisphere on Mystic River Falls right there. Right next to that, you'll see that big old barn, that old man Wilson's barn. He's so proud of that big old barn party to bring the giant swing. That swing will take you way up in the air. Flip you over every time and get you head over heels before bringing you back down to earth at nearly 55 miles an hour. Old man Wilson's giant barn swing. There ain't no chickens in that barn. All right, now we're fixing to go down a pretty steep incline. Some of you may be concerned about the brakes on this old train, but I'm going to tell you worry no more. We've purchased the best brakes that money could buy. And they should be installed sometime next week. In the meantime, if you feel this old train slipping out from under us, you just stomp down really hard on that little black button under the seat in front of you. I can't believe you looked for it. We're entering what I like to call the Valley of the Giant Coasters. Coming up on the left-hand side, you're going to get a look at Powder Keg. Powder Keg's a cannon coaster. Start off at zero, blast you forward like you're being shot right out of a cannon. You go from zero to breathless in 2.5 heartbeats on Powder Keg on the left. upside-downiest wooden roller coasters ever built. Just a few years ago, it won the Golden Ticket Award because it was the best new ride on the planet. Outlaw Run, where the good guys always win. Folks, speaking of outlaws, I probably need to tell you I got word back to the depot. Those train robbing outlaws, Alfie and Ralphie Bowman, busted out of jail the other night. They're probably hiding out in these woods somewhere, so I need everyone to keep your head low. Keep your eyes peeled. If you have any gold or silver in your jeep, well, you better just keep your mouth shut. We're coming up to my favorite part now. Moonshine Stump is just ahead. See, the local moonshiners like to put a little bit of their whiskey out there for anyone who wants to stop by and have a snort. Hey, I got an idea. If you want a snort of that good old moonshine, give me a big old yee I tell you what, we'll drop you off here and I'll pick you up on the way back. I do mean pick you up. <laughs> You ain't getting up on your own after a snort of that, I'll tell you that right now. Folks, I probably ought to warn you, we are entering rattlesnake country. Just last week, a rattlehead copper locks and came right up on the back of car number four and snatched this woman right off. We went rolling down that hill over there to the left. We ain't seen that snake nor that lady since. 
That would be your husband down to the saloon every night buying rounds of sarsaparilla for everyone, singing happy days are here again. We have had one tragedy on the Frisco Silver Dollar Line, happened on the opposite side of this hairpin corner here. Yeah, we have this old engineer named Ichabod Q. Peabody. He thought he could take this 6.9 per hour quarter at the blazing speed of 12.3 miles per hour. Well, needless to say, that didn't work. The train went flying off the tracks, crashing through the trees in the underbrush. Jesus, take the wheel. Tell you what, you'll see the, you'll see the wreckage up here on the left in just a little bit. We looked high, we looked low, near, far, we looked up, we looked down. We had a hardest time finding the Ichabod. We finally found him under a big old pile of that wreckage, but it doesn't get any one we did with that boy. We picked him up, dusted him off, put him on the moonshine stuff. I'll give you two guesses who's driving your train today. <laughs> Take a ride, if you can hear me, give me three suits on that whistle. Hey, hey come on, that was only two suits. Uh, well, you know, at least we know he's up there and can hear us. <laughs> He never was that good at ciphering anyway. Just the other day he said, Huff, you know, there's only two kinds of people in the world, right? There are those who can count, there are those who can't. Oh, oh, hey, do you see that? Look over there to the right. Everybody see that? Yeah, those are trees. Now look to the left. Yeah, four trees. It's going to burn the woods, folks. You guys picked a perfect day to be here. Beautiful weather, and it's a kickoff of bluegrass and barbecue. So we got some wonderful music and even better food. Now, Ichabod, you can't stop out here. We're going to go. Oh, folks, I see what the problem is. It's Alfie and Ralphie Bowen. They're flagging our train down. Everybody say, oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get off and see what I can do. Y'all stay good, but, but maybe you can scare them away or something. Uh, shake your fist at them and call them ugly. Hey. Okay, that wasn't even scary. You're going to have to try it again. Use a mean voice. Shake your fist and say, ugly. Hey.
mom's on your train. <laughs> your mom's on my train. Yeah, mm -hmm. she rides it every Friday, just like clockwork. You ride the wind? Every Friday, just like clockwork. Well, today's Wednesday, so I'm going to go shoot you like I promised in the first place. Hold on. What? Folks, I play the dumb one. You got the real dumb one. Come on, Robert. Yeah. What? <laughs> Yeah. You know, the real fun part is he's got to improvise his way back to the script now. Let's see how this goes. It's Thursday. It is. Thursday. Why didn't you tell me that all day when we've been doing that? Reel him in. Reel him in. Okay, so I can fix this. Listen. I don't care what day it is. You don't know what day it is. <laughs> Get back to it, buddy. Come on, get back to it. All right. Listen, if your mom's on my train, I'll let y'all go. Super. No, wait, get back here. I want to meet her first. Y'all want to meet their mom? Yeah. Yeah, we want to meet your mom. She ain't up for it right now. She's flat on her back. She ain't feel good. Listen, I don't care if she's under a pile of rocks. I want to meet your mom. Man, she's been under a lot of pressure, so we say no. I say yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 What'd he say? He said he, he helps Ma ain't sitting by herself. I don't all think right. that's what he was doing. Nice. You boys best be digging up a mall, that's all I know. I didn't. Ma! Oh! I'm sorry I robbed you, Ma. You robbed Ma? Well, I didn't recognize her. She shaved her beard off since I saw her. <laughs> hey, Ma, what did you bust out of jail? Hey, hey, you can't get up here. Leave that nice lady alone. That ain't no nice lady. That's a That's a Ma'am, I kind of hate to ask this, but you claim these two, yes or no? Yes or no. Yes. <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. She seems confused. I think she is a little confused. But I think she might just be embarrassed. Well, what she got to be embarrassed about? Well, you see that big broad grin on her face? Uh, she looks like a happy lady. Well, she ought to be a happy lady. That old goat sitting next to her ain't our ball. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to shoot myself a bullet. I'm not getting shot again. No, I give up. Ralphie, I surrender. Right, I give, I give up. up. Get back here. That leaves you, Ralphie. You better find a hiding place. Ralphie, you better find a hiding place. You better find a hiding place. Ralphie, is that that's the best place you can find, huh? Yeah, I'm a tree. Leave me alone. Yeah. You know there there's a fork in that tree, right? There it is. Yep. Oh. Ah. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. There's a fork in the tree. All right. You know? How about a hand for those bowling boys for letting us go? We're lucky to escape with our minds. <laughs> I got a better idea. Just shake your fist at him. Call him ugly one more time. Ugly! Not you. Oh, not me? Ugly! Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. If you're having a good time today, give me a big old yee yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me too. If you're done this old train moving, we got a little breeze going. Say, uh-huh. Uh -huh. We have a good day every day out here at Silver Dollar City. So much fun. Make sure you come back and visit us lots of times. Come back for every festival. Especially come back at Christmas time. If you've never been here at Christmas, you are missing out, let me tell you. Well, let's see. We're getting ready to see uh, Outlaw Rudy. He was on the right hand side of the way first came out. Now it's over on the left hand side. I don't know about you, but a roller coaster that moves around like that seems a bit shifty to me. I don't think I'd ride it. If you like to ride out low run, raise your hand real high. I see if you, if you ain't never going to ride out low run, raise your hand real high. <laughs> There's a bunch more on that one. No, so it's a great coaster. We have a good time with that. Get a lot of people screaming on it. What we're going to do is have ourselves a sense of screaming contest right here on our train. We're going to go through Sweet Mary's Tunnel. I want to see where the real loud mouths are on this train. <laughs> Sir, I would not look at my wife like that if I were you. All right, we're fixing to go in Sweet Mary's Town. Car number one, let me hear you scream. Car number two, let me hear you scream. Car number three, let me hear you scream. Just the other day, 
someone said, huh? Where did Silver Dollar City get all the wood to build out the rug? I know, I couldn't believe that stuff though. Alright folks, if you're the kind of folks who like to take pictures, get those cameras ready. It's going to come up on the right hand side of the train, and we are almost there. Get the cameras ready, you're not going to want to miss this. Only people that ride the train get to see this. Nobody else on the bus is going to see this today, just us. Almost there, cameras are ready, right hand side of the train. Ladies and gentlemen, the wooden tents of Silver Dollar City, right there for your enjoyment. You're going to have a tough time to leave, I think. Now we do have Lake Silverhead on the right and Fireman's Landing. Fireman's Landing has 10 lines of attractions, all dedicated to the great men and women who keep us safe every day, Fireman's Landing. Inside the train. Mother Nature, you'll come close to the personal right through here. You've always been robbed. I don't want you to get this right, too. If you're just visiting the Ozark, you probably figure out we're real friendly around here. We smile and wave at everybody, even if we don't know them. And we're going to do that just ahead. There's going to be some folks on the left and the right. They're the ones smart enough to get out of the way of an oncoming train. We're going to wave and get the thing all out of Stay where you are though, nobody gets up yet. We gotta wait, 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 wait till we get parked. Hang 